Hi everyone, my name is Akiti Nebi Misela and one of our subscribers asked the question on why is my doctor prescribing the first turn for me after two miscarriages and now she's pregnant so the doctor is prescribing the first turn for her. Why? The first stone is actually known as an hormonal drug digestion. is an active oral progesterone. So, you know, because progesterone in the body has its own functions. It's one of the hormones in the body and it has its own function on the endometrium, the uterus, and it's a pregnancy hormone. So let's take a quick recap at the hormones of the body that actually works in the reproductive system. So when the ovary is actually having its follicles being developed, so when these follicles are developing where the eggs are, you know, in the follicles, that is where we can find the eggs. So when they develop to a certain extent whereby they are matured, the cells of the follicles releases this hormone called estrogen, you understand? So at that point whereby this um, estrogen level is high in the body, the ovulation at that point when by ovulation of course so the corpus luteum the follicles degenerates to become the corpus luteum so this corpus luteum is actually called the pregnancy hormone it's needed because it helps to prepare the endometrium expecting that the fertilization is going to occur so that the place is actually set for a baby to be implanted so so our question, the first stone, the first stone is actually an hormonal drug and it's an active oral progesterone and it's actually used for women that actually have the low progesterone level or progesterone deficiency. Like the progesterone being produced in their body is quite low. And you know, because we just explained that when this progesterone is supposed to prepare the endometrium, that's the womb, for the baby to be implanted for that zygote the embryo that is being implanted that will form the baby so at that point whereby it is low and this woman apparently gets pregnant what would actually take this baby to the full term that is why the doctor will want to prescribe the first stone for such person because one of the uses of the first stone is that the first stone is actually used for women with dysmenorrhea painful menstruation, women with endometriosis, women that actually have recurrent miscarriages because due to progesterone deficiencies. It's actually used also in women that have threatened abortion due to low progesterone in the body. We just explained that progesterone is very, very important from the beginning to the end of this woman's pregnancy to actually take this baby to the last stage progesterone is actually needed so because it is insufficient that is why it is being prescribed and it is an oral medication that comes in 10 milligrams so a tablet of divastone is actually 10 milligrams so the tablet is 10 milligrams and the gestone which is the injection is 100 milligrams it's 100 milligrams so because another use of this Progesterone, that is the Dufastone, is actually it's used as a luteal support phase for people undergoing assisted reproductive technologies. That's the IVF. Yes, because you know, because during the IVF, the body hormones is being taken over by drugs. So you want to actually ensure that these drugs are actually given in like their hormonal drugs, they are given at every phase. So at the luteal support phase of the woman. That is when you actually give up the first stone. So for the dosage of this defastone, each person is quite peculiar. Every person is peculiar depending on the diagnosis the doctor has made. Maybe it's threatening the abortion. Maybe it's because the progesterone is a bit low and the doctor wants to ensure that the body actually have enough progesterone that is being supplied to the body. That is the reason why. So dosage differs, but mostly people use 10 milligram in the morning, 10 milligram at night. And some side effects that you can see, because it's an oral drug, you might feel nauseated. You know, people can react to drug. And another question is, is it safe for both the mother and the baby? The first stone is actually safe for both the mother and even for the formation of an healthy baby.
from beginning to the end of its nine months the first stone is really safe so it is advisable that you meet with your doctor let them get you tested let them do the scan let them know what exactly is actually wrong before you just start taking any medication when it comes to your fertility because each drug has its own peculiarities has its own reason there is a reason why the first stone would be used when they do the blood blood test and discover the progesterone level is low and at that point that a new pregnancy is coming in we want to support this pregnancy to the last because our joy the doctor's joy your joy is to have that baby to ten and have not just the baby but a healthy baby that is the reason why the doctor will want you to have this gestone or progesterone and ensure so someone asked again which is better the tablet or the injection so for the for injections injections and tablet they are actually the same because when you take the drug it's going to go through the stomach part of it is lost when you take when it's going to get to the stomach before it gets broken down in the liver a lot of it is absorbed and that is why it looks as if on a normal day the first one can be taken once daily but taking two in a day would actually help to bridge that gap of whereby the body is actually breaking down some of these drugs and you have enough of it to take so whether your doctor prescribes the tablet or the injection i believe that he has its own peculiar reason to each peculiar person why each person is taking it and at what phase they are taking it and in case you have any other questions pertaining to drugs that you will be given that is not clear please do leave it in the comment section and everything will be answered